Hello everyone, my name is Pixorifs. Welcome back to Decidedly Vanilla. And today, we're going to have a little chat. We're going to do some stuff around town. We're basically going to be performing our civic duties, for want of a better word, because, to be honest, and this is going to be a weird subject to broach right at the top of a vanilla episode, but I have not really been feeling all that much into vanilla Minecraft lately. And there's a couple of reasons behind that. Oh, six diamonds. Oh, well played. Wow, that's that's a, a second wind for the bookshop. All right, I still need to get some enchanting on some unbreaking books. But yeah, I haven't been logging in and playing vanilla Minecraft all that much. And like I said, there are a couple of reasons for that. The first being the fact that Decidedly Neapolitan kicked off, and it's really fun. It's more fun playing modded this time around than it was before. And I think it's because we have such a solid crew. I joined the last modded server when a lot of people had already finished with what they wanted to do with the server and left, whereas now we seem to have quite a solid group of content creators on the go. I'm just going to repair this shovel because it's been a while and it's only got 23 durability left. So what's another shovel, really? We're going to pop the diamonds back in there. Uh, we'll keep the wood, I guess. Don't really want to make more torches. Just create another inventory slot for those. Not to worry. I guess the the logs, or the planks rather, can go back in here with the supplies. But yeah, like I just haven't been feeling vanilla Minecraft all that much recently, and I think there's a couple of things that are going to change that. The first being a bit of a change in building style, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly what that is. I've been playing around with a couple of things here and there, but I kind of want to just change what I do and improve. That's the thing, like a lot of what I've been doing throughout my vanilla Minecraft video making stuff has been improving my build style in various ways, just kind of getting the hang of things. And now I feel like I'm getting to the point where I'm hitting a wall in terms of my creative building side of things. And I feel like maybe like being in creative mode kind of like, I don't know, the, the, what I was worried about using creative mode more frequently was that I was going to be ruining survival gameplay for myself because it's such a pain gathering all of the materials in survival where in creative you can just build things. So maybe that's partly it as well. And I've been spending a bit of time in creative mode, but then in survival you just have to grind for resources and stuff. And maybe also perhaps because this server has been a little bit less active than others in terms of collabs and things like that might be what we could blame for it and I'm going to pop in here by the way because oh hello <laughs> it's the postmaster's dog um we have some outgoing mail there is apparently a cookie I'm not sure who that's going to you'll need to leave a note if you want to send that but this is going to Ryloth Steelbeard in Old Haven Thickwood Forest and this is in this was in Bran's latest episode he's he's basically sending off five gold so he can be certified as a warrior so we're gonna have to find where old haven and thickwood forest are and i think i know the way it's kind of through the national park i think thickwood forest is kind of like past the national park and a, a fair distance in that direction and for this we're going to change into the official dv postal uniform which is you know, it's seen better days, to be perfectly honest, but I think we can... You know what, I'll leave my diamond armor here. May as well. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to come by and steal it in the meantime. We're on the server with Kor. He's over in Bear's Watch doing his thing. I think we should be okay. But yeah, the other thing that's kind of been hanging over everybody's heads, especially on this server, is the release of Minecraft 1.9, which is going to be on the 29th of February, guys. Which is, is, has come up really fast somehow, even though it felt like it was taking ages to get here in the first place. Suddenly 1.9 is on its way, some major servers are resetting, I know Hermitcraft has gone through a bit of a reset recently. And so I feel like 1.9 is kind of going to give this server a bit of a second wind in a way. Because we've been holding off on fighting the Ender Dragon until 1.9 comes out. So pretty soon we're going to have access to the end. We're going to be able to explore. There's going to be new blocks to build with. And I feel like vanilla is going to get a bit of an update. Which I think a lot of people were expecting it to get. And an update which is going to give a new lease of life to the vanilla game. That's my hope anyway. And I don't want you guys to worry. Like I haven't really lost my love for vanilla minecraft it's always going to be a fantastic game and i oh that's my watchtower i kind of forgot i built this a little while ago um yeah i'm not going to lo lose my no love for vanilla i'm definitely not going to stop making videos from vanilla minecraft 
sad zombie in a hole. Oh, I'm going to leave him there. <laughs> he couldn't stay there. What a place to spawn. But yeah, I just think that it needs a bit of a refresh. It's why I've not been making as many of my single player videos. I've been trying not to kind of grind those out too much is because I just wanted to kind of hold back until 1.9 came out, come up my vanilla Minecraft again with a kind of fresh perspective and see what I can do with the game when it's a little bit more active and people are a little bit more interested. That's what I'm hoping is going to happen anyway. And we'll get to grips with all of the extra combat features and stuff. Right, so let's go ahead and find this place, shall we? Let's find Ryloth Steelbeard's house and we'll see what we can do from there. quite the journey folks but I think we're here I saw this house on the horizon and I knew this must be it this is a very big roofed forest and here we have a house which says yes Steelbeard lives herein doesn't look like he's been around for a while <laughs> his garden is very much unkept it's a lovely view of the sea though beautiful part of the part of the map part of the world I guess I wonder if he's in, because I've, I've got this letter for him, obviously. <laughs> Look at the amount of stuff I've managed to gather on the way. What a journey. Mr. Steelbeard? He doesn't seem to have a mailbox or anything. Mr. Steelbeard? Are you in? Freehaven City Post. I don't think he's in, you know. Um, Not really sure what to do. Uh, Can't really see in through the windows. Doesn't look like there's much going on in here. Maybe maybe he's got a chest in here that I can just leave it in. Wow. It's a really nicely built house, though. I really like the style of it. There's a chest down there under the stairs. Nice little seat and stuff. I mean, it's kind of an old school design of seat, but the still beard guy seems like he's been around for a while. And, you know, it's, I don't know. It's, a, it's maybe a little bit pokey, but it's got such nice construction. I don't know. I wonder who built this. This is a really nice build. Alright, well, I guess I'll just kind of leave the... Oh. <laughs> he's <laughs> some bones and an old bow and some gunpowder. Well, I guess he's a, if he's a hunter or a warrior or something, then that makes sense. But I thought he said to throw bows away in beer rats. But I, I don't know. Anyway, maybe he's just keeping that one as an example. So, this is... <laughs> it's a zombie burning outside. Hello. <laughs> Not today. I'm sorry. Come again later. Mr. Steelbeard is not in, apparently. Um, but yeah, we're going to leave B-Ran's letter for him there and the five gold. So hopefully B-Ran will get his certificate. And uh, 
That's the job done. So, another successful delivery by the Freehaven Postal Service. We can make our way home and... Hang on. Ah. <laughs> maybe it wasn't as far away as I thought. Well, seeing that old house up there has made me think that maybe we can apply a similar building approach to the Cluedo house that I'm supposed to be building for Paige. She said she wanted kind of a smallish build over there. So maybe we can adopt a similar kind of approach there. And it's only meant to be like the facade for the tunnel that leads to her Cluedo game. So maybe we can just figure something out like that where it just looks like the front of it is that kind of cool old world sort of almost Nordic design, I guess. And then we can we can apply that to the front and then we can do whatever we want with the interior because that's just access to the Cluedo game. That seems like kind of a fun thing to do. And I know I said I'd probably do something in a similar style to where Clandlewoods built the chessboard, but... I don't know, I feel like I, I want to take a refreshed approach to things. I want to try out this new style for myself. So maybe we'll give that a go over here. And so I've already started building a frame up, just kind of around the bottom there. And that's what it looks like so far. It's kind of a double door sort of thing where Steelbeard's house was a single door. But working in these kind of sections like this kind of give it a little bit of good flavour, I think. And then... For the roof, that kind of pitched roof sort of thing with the really steep kind of roof and it mainly being made out of blocks isn't something that I normally go for. I tend to build roofs that look a little bit more intricate and detailed and sloping, kind of out of stairs and things. But recently I've really been digging other people's style when they have roofs that are just made out of single blocks. And oh gosh, what's happened to that tree up there? Somebody's decided not to go back for the, the uh, top half of that spruce tree. So yeah, I figure what we're going to do here is just kind of build it up and have one of those roofs. And we only really need to build kind of half the structure, really. Let's see what happened with, with Steelbeard's house. It kind of had this going on and had two... Not quite like that. Take that away. <laughs> had two logs kind of coming out the sides with trapdoors on the ends, like that. And then glass panes there. And then the roof kind of built up from these sections here, didn't it? So... If I go back and get some supplies, I reckon we can make a decent go of this. So let's get our kind of colour palette worked out here. What I'm going for is kind of warmish tones, which most woods have anyway. And spruce wood, more so than dark oak, has this kind of like reddish undertone to it. It's a lot more kind of red brown as opposed to kind of grey brown, which dark oak is. And then from that, I think I'm probably going to build with stone brick kind of for the outside and hello <laughs> Frank is attracting more customers stone brick instead of the kind of cobblestone that was used in the other house and then red and orange stained clay for the roof and then for the outside I think we can probably get away with using a mixture of uh, oak stairs jungle fences and then maybe some birch as well I don't really work with birch all that much but I think this color palette in general is going to work pretty well for us. So let's head back over to where Paige's Cluedo house is and we'll give this a try. And I've just been back to my house to get myself some ender pearls because I think those will be kind of useful for construction. We don't really have a great supply of ender pearls on the server because like I was saying before, we haven't been to the end and beaten the dragon, made an ender ender, anything like that. I think they were trying, they, they were thinking about turning basically the entire main end island. Oh, yep. Totally stuck on that. Never mind, going to have to take the fall. <laughs> they were thinking about making the entire main island into an ender ender, just flooding the entire thing so it could be a massive enderman farm. And I think they're a little bit concerned that the spawn rate is going to be affected when the new islands come into place. So I think they're waiting for people to figure out the best way of making an ender ender. I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. Ah, being shot at by everything. But... I, I think, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how the 1.9 changes affect gameplay in general. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm really excited to see where these things go. Has somebody built this tree, by the way, or is this a naturally grown tree? Because that's a really nice looking tree. At least from a distance, it definitely looks pretty cool. I think there's these weird kind of like outcroppings on the edges that I don't know. There's just some larger trees around here, which are really nice. I think they're quite well grown. And if that's somebody who's been building them, then awesome. And if they're just... Minecraft's own generated large trees, then I must not have been paying as much attention. 
trick shot. All right, meanwhile, back at the house, we can probably get started on the frame. Now, if we build up like this, I haven't brought any glass with me either, so I'm gonna have to go back for some glass in a second. Or maybe I can dig up some sand from somewhere around here. Although, oceans don't really have a great deal of sand in them anymore. It tends to all be gravel and stuff, which is kind of gross. I don't like it all that much, but there we go. We'll have to deal with it now. If we build up some of the frame for the sort of interior, but we don't have to go all the way with that because people aren't really going to see all that much of it. You just have to have enough that it looks like a house from the outside at a glance, and then when you go inside, it's actually got some cool stuff in there. So that's going to be okay. We wanted cobblestone, or did we want... I think we're going to go with the stone brick, you know. I think we're going to have to do that. Let's make ourselves a crafting table so we can pop this down here and then we'll have stone brick across the top like this leaving a kind of two wide gap in the middle for stair blocks and obviously that's going to take up a fair bit of the stone so I'm going to have to be a bit sparing with those where I can but it's just nice to have that kind of depth to a doorway I think and then we can use some of this spruce wood goodness me Brand's tree farm is incredible <laughs> it's just always stocked with stuff when i go there so i've been doing my bit obviously i've been able to kind of restock it here and there kind of plant some more saplings and whatnot but yeah it's been really really useful having that massive tree farm there all the time so credit to the pix dusty old district for that <laughs> my name seems to be attached to it but i have absolutely no idea why because i've not really been doing all that much there so let's make a bunch of trapdoors. I probably have some more of these back in my chest at home, but I just like bringing the bare minimum of materials with me because my inventory fills up so quickly. You have no idea. And I'll probably bring some leaves over as well just to make the outside of this look a little bit nicer. But I think overall that's a good start. Now what we want to do next is probably work on the outer frame. And... The other house had brick over the top, like red brick. And red brick is kind of difficult to use well because it's such a weird set of colours. And I think that house actually did a decent job of it. But in this case, I think we want to use birch. And the birch is kind of going to go on the corners here. Like from what I saw of it, it kind of looked like this on the outside with the stair blocks kind of facing this way and this way. So let's step back and take a look at how that is. It's a it stands out a lot for now, I'll give you that. It stands out quite a lot, but I think we can probably make it work once we have the red roof on here. I feel like that will work okay. If not, we can always swap that out for oak wood. I just don't have as much oak wood as I do the birch right now. So no need to worry about that. In the meantime, let's make some more stairs real quick. And the birch slabs we can kind of put over the top here. And it kind of went either side like that and then if I can get up here to do a little bit more probably have to jump on this trap door <laughs> that's the good thing about putting trap doors all over my builds is it actually allows you to get access pretty easily now was it like this I think it was something like this wasn't it or maybe there were stairs there let's see if I can remember there might have been some stairs and then yeah no you're right it was stairs actually I say you're right like you guys told me it was it was stairs there and then they kind of had a, wait, was there a fence there or was it not? I forget now. Oh goodness, this is going to be a pain. But yeah, it, it was kind of like, it was built up with slabs on the top. Maybe that's it. It had slabs on the top up here, kind of like this. And then the middle part was raised like that. Oh, hello. <laughs> Was it something like that? I think I think it was, you know. I think that's actually how it looked. All right. All right. Let's 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 take a look at that real quick. Put another one on there, will you? There. That's right. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. I think we've got that sort of okay. We'll come back to that in a second. But next up, I want to try getting the frame for the roof right. Because it kind of went up. It went up to like that. And then did it have a stair on the top there? I think that was sort of the way it went yeah it goes in one and then up two so if we start laying in this stained clay kind of on the border of it along here and the orange stained clay it's we're not going to need to do the whole roof thankfully so we probably won't need all that much but then we can pop this in there like that and it definitely needs something to go here and I just 
can't remember for the life of me how that worked. But okay, we'll come back to it. We can pop the orange in there. And see, that's starting to do something to the birch where it makes it look a little bit more at home. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely getting there. Maybe this birch needs to come down one. Maybe it needs to come down one so it's kind of like an overhang for the windows, like that. Or maybe even like that, where it's kind of like, almost like a shutter that's been folded out. But we don't need to worry too much about that now. Hmm. But then the idea with the roof is you kind of have these little patterns of red stained clay accenting the orange. And there's a lot of orange in this, so it's probably going to look a little bit weird at first, but once we step back and take a look at it, I think it's going to look alright. So we can have the red run up there, and this next layer needs to be kind of too high like that. And I don't know, maybe it's actually better to have the stair like this, like so. And then it was another sort of layer of two up to the top there like a stone brick there, stone brick stair there. I think it was something like this. And then there was one of those in the middle and kind of like that. And then it had one of those little pointy bits on the outside of the roof that I've always thought looked a little bit weird until recently. I'm starting to get a feel for them. I'm starting to think they look a bit a bit cooler than I thought. So how about... Uh, so that's not going to work that way around. We put down a slab there. It's going to need a slab of some description, isn't it? Where's my crafting table? <laughs> I think I just spawned an endermite. Haven't seen one of those for a little while. <laughs> get out of here. All right. I think we're pretty much done with most of this. I need to get... Oh, there's some sand here. Do you reckon I can use this sand, folks? I don't think we can see it really being used for anything else there's also a couple of chests inside of here which i think i might be able to plunder i just wanted to put the finishing touches up here to the roof like so and then we need to work out how we're filling in these side bits like so and this can probably come straight down and then we'll work on the interior actually no let's let's do it right let's do it properly because it's clearly done properly over there isn't it <laughs> Uh, we'll put that there, and yeah, we need to work on the interior just a little bit, just to kind of tidy things up slightly and make it look like it's a put-together house from the outside. But I put, I made the back, hey, get out of here, I'm trying to do a video. Honestly, the cheek. Rude. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna leave the back completely orange stained clay, because you don't really need to worry about the detail, and I ran out of red, so I'm feeling lazy, and yeah, if we go in... Obviously, the first thing you're going to do is drop down into here, and then that's going to lead to this. But I feel like maybe... Is that a baby zombie down there? Is it down there or up here? I don't know. We're going to have to do something about the interior. Just to, Ah, there's some glass. Fantastic. Just to make it look a little bit more presentable. Hi! And this is why I don't work at night. Ugh. Ankle biters. Blimey. Get out of here. Right, let's... <laughs> close that up just so we have a little bit of privacy although it's not really helping we do need to fix up the sides here just to make sure it looks nice but now we've got some access to glass panes we will be able to do that let me hop out here real quick and make these into panes lovely lovely we'll use glass blocks i think for the front of the house like so because then we can put some stuff in front of these and the house has already got a little bit of depth so it doesn't really need the glass panes in the front it will need them in the sides though and that is why we come up here because underneath here we can put in some oak and then a couple of these glass panes and I think the other house had it like so actually like that so maybe I've built the roof slightly differently this time around but that's okay I think it looks pretty good so we'll put the oak wood stairs in there and some oak wood planks actually wouldn't it be better to do it like that I think that may even have been the way that Steelbeard's house was built kind of have ah, have the stairs go like that oh these are gonna be a pain let's take them out of the way real quick can always replace the stone in a second let's put some diorite down there you go, it's like it was never there. And planks underneath that, like so. 
that's going to be all good and then last of all we probably want planks going across there as well do we or do we want the we want the stone brick in there to make it look like it's a solid part of the wall and it kind of connects down there there we go that's looking good all right let's repeat this on the other side over here and then i think we'll pretty much be done with this exterior at least Oh, brilliant. There's some shears in here. All right, I will take those. I may as well leave the rest of these build materials here because it's not all stuff I will need, really. Let me drop that in there. Let's leave the glass panes as well. And then we can grab some leaves locally. I reckon we can probably get away with that. See if there are any trees. I suppose Brandon Brand's tree farm is probably going to be the best place for it. Although... <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to go up there and rescue that poor spruce tree. Looks like we've landed among some of its neighbours. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, uh, let's see if we can get up here with an ender pearl. Go on, go on. You beauty. Oh, no. Down the other side. Never mind. <laughs> Looks like somebody was trying to grow single dark oak saplings. You guys know that doesn't work, right? It's got to be four in a square. Now, oh gosh, I'm still wearing my post uniform. <laughs> I should probably change that real quick when I get back to Freehaven, otherwise this thing is probably going to die a death pretty fast. Uh, let's reduce all of these to apple cores, and we may as well use the spruce leaves, right? They're a local leaf, and to be honest, I think they may look better in these extreme hills biomes than the oak leaves do, because the oak leaves kind of take on the same dull green colour of the grass around here, so maybe we'll use some spruce leaves. It might actually do really well against this orange and stuff. I think that's going to look pretty good, actually. It's going to bring out the green in it, for sure, because how bright the colour is, how bright the orange is, is definitely going to make it feel like it's a slightly more saturated type of green. So I reckon we'll go with that. That's looking pretty good. I reckon that'll be all right. So let's put a few bushes around the outside as well, just to kind of conceal how that is either side there. And yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. Let's have it trailing into the water as well, because I like little stuff like that. I like the idea that it's kind of overgrown a little bit. You know me and overgrown stuff, right? And last of all, maybe kind of coming down the side here, just to kind of give it a bit of asymmetry. Have it come down there and then droop down this corner where we're not really doing anything texture-wise. How about that? Decent build. I like it. I think it came together really well. Hopefully Paige will be pleased with that and I'll come back and do the interior of it another time, but I reckon we can call it good there. I'm going to head back to Freehaven. I may as well leave the crafting table in here because it doesn't look like there is a crafting table in here, so probably a good thing that I made one. I'm going to head back to Freehaven and we can finish up for the day. Well, there we go, folks. Another successful design for the Pixarus Design Company. I'm really pleased with that build, actually. I really like it quite a lot. And full disclosure, you notice the drop in levels. I may or may not have enderpearled myself to death on the way back. <laughs> this is what I get for wearing armor that doesn't have any kind of protection or full damage on it. But that is going to be it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name has been Pixorifs. Please leave a like on the episode if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you... Oh no.